Los Angeles County logged nearly 5, 200 new COVID-19 infections during a three-day period ending Monday, January 9, along with 61 more virus-related deaths. According to the County Department of Public Health, which doesn't release COVID numbers over the weekend, another two, 668 infections were logged Saturday, one, 337 on Sunday and one, 179 Monday. Sunday and Monday figures have traditionally been low due to delays in reporting from the weekend. Official case numbers overall are also believed to be under counts of actual virus cases due to the number of people who rely on at-home tests without reporting the results to the county, and the people who don't test at all. The 5, 182 new COVID cases reported by the county lifted the overall total from throughout the pandemic to 3, 652, 052. The county also reported 61 new virus-related deaths over the three-day period, 22 on Saturday, 20 on Sunday and 19 on Monday. The new fatalities gave the county a cumulative death toll of 34, 867. The seven-day average daily rate of people testing positive for the virus was 8.5% as of Monday, down from 12.8% a week ago. Updated hospitalization figures were not immediately available. As of Saturday, there were 1, 202 virus-positive patients in county hospitals, with 139 of them being treated in intensive care units. LA County remains in the federal government's medium transmission range. Masks are still required indoors at healthcare and congregate care facilities, for anyone exposed to the virus in the past 10 days, and at businesses where they are required by the owner. Otherwise, they are only strongly recommended at indoor settings. Thousands of kids returned to Los Angeles Unified School District campuses Monday following the winter break. Health officials urged school students and staff to test for COVID-19 before returning to campuses, and to wear a mask for 10 days to help prevent virus spread, 